In this video, let's see another numerical problem in the series of problems that we are seeing. It is a previous year board examination problem. The question is, figure consists of a semicircle with rectangle on its diameter. So you have to draw a semicircle and there should be its diameter and there should be a rectangle in its diameter. Given perimeter of the figure, if the perimeter of the figure is given, you have to find the dimensions in order that the area may be maximum. So perimeter given, maximize the area, that means you have to differentiate the area. Now if I have to name A, B, C, D and if I say that I have dimensions of C, D as 2x, dimensions of B, C as 2y, then definitely BC is equal to AD is equal to 2Y, AB is equal to CD is equal to 2X. Why I am not taking X? Why I am not taking X? Because if I need to consider the radius only, that means if I need to consider AE only, then it will be X by 2 and upons will give me my question very tedious. So, it is till here X, again till here X. That is very much easy now to compute. And now let's see what the question is. I write proof. It says perimeter is given. So let's find out P which is the perimeter. Perimeter of the figure is what? It is 2y plus 2y. 2y here plus 2y here plus 2x here. And you're not going to consider AB but you're going to consider the curve AB. Right? So it is what? Let's write perimeter is sum of all sides. So it is 2x plus 4y plus this curve. So what is the curve? It is nothing but pi r, not 2 pi r, but pi r. So it is pi x. Now this is p, very good. And you know when you will find out a, what will be your a? It will be your area. Area is what? Area is nothing but the area of the rectangle plus the area of the semicircle. What is the area of the rectangle? Length into breadth. What is the area of the semicircle? pi by 2 r square, half of the area of the circle, right? So r square. It is nothing but 4xy plus pi x square upon 2, which is your a and this is your equation number 2. Now you already know y is coming to picture and y is such which should not be there because we have to differentiate with respect to x. So from 1, let's find out the value of y. So it is 4x, p minus 2x minus pi x upon 4 and that is your y and it is nothing but pi x square by 2 and all this is coming from 1 and that is coming out to be x 4 and 4 getting cancelled now let's see what is there it is nothing but x into p which is px is a then it is minus 2x square minus pi x square plus pi x square by 2 done and now First differentiation, very easy to find out. P minus 4x minus pi into 2x, you can easily differentiate on your own. Plus pi into 2x upon 2, again 2, 2 getting cancelled. So it becomes P minus 4x minus 2 pi x plus pi x, which is nothing but minus pi x. Right? So it is minus pi x. And now, First order derivative has been found out. Let's now find out the second order derivative. It will be what? It will be minus 4 minus pi. Something coming in negatives. Negative means it is less than 0. Less than 0 means maxima. And we needed to prove maximum. At least something has been proved. Next, you have to put dA by dx is equal to 0. So you write put the first order derivative is equal to 0. What is the answer? p minus 4x minus pi x is equal to 0. That means p minus x pi plus 4 is equal to 0 or p is equal to x into pi plus 4 or you can write p upon pi plus 4 is equal to x. Now what is this giving us? You already know that p is equal to 2x plus 4y plus pi x and you now know p is equal to x into pi plus 4 which is your equation number say we have done till 2. 
let's name this as 3 so comparing comparing your values comparing 1 and 3 you can always get what is your p and what is the next value so it is 2x plus 4y plus pi x 2x plus 4y plus pi x is equal to pi x plus 4x things are getting cancelled pi x getting cancelled with pi x so it becomes 4y is equal to 2x which is nothing but x is equal to 2y so x is equal to 2y x is equal to 2y is coming where is your x x is here and here also so x is equal to 2y let's see the question again you have to find out the dimensions so the dimensions are what we are going to see so you already know the first dimension is what the dimensions you need to find out the first dimension is 2x and 2x is nothing but 2p upon pi plus 4 the next dimension is 2y so now I know that x is equal to 2y and I know that 2x is equal to 2p upon pi plus 4. We need to find out the dimensions. So 2x is one dimension, 2y is the other dimension. What is 2y you need to see? 2y is nothing but x and x is equal to p upon pi plus 4. So these are the dimensions and hence this is my answer.